Welcome to the Taxing Subjects Podcast. I'm Ryan Norton, and today we're going to discuss the Taxpayer Roadmap 2019 uh, that was recently released by the Taxpayer Advocate Service. Uh, now, joining me for this discussion is Drake Software Education Tax Team Lead, Amanda Watson. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Ryan. I'm happy to be here. Well, we're glad to have you back on, and you know, today we're talking about a, I guess it's a PDF you can download from Taxpayer Advocate Service, and we're going to discuss what it is, what it's supposed to do, and uh, maybe how tax professionals can use it in their practice. So let's just jump into it. Okay, let's do it. Um, what is the Taxpayer Advocate Service? Just very first thing, uh, coming out of the gate, what is the TAS? Well, thanks for that. I think it's a great place to start. And and the Taxpayer Advocate Service, or TAS, is just like what it sounds. It's an advocate for the taxpayer. And it's an independent organization within the IRS. And it's their job to ensure that every taxpayer is treated fairly and that they do know and understand their rights as a taxpayer. Well, since the Taxpayer Advocate Service is to help taxpayers understand their rights, what does the Taxpayer Roadmap what is it addressing? Well, the taxpayer roadmap, and if our listeners haven't seen it, I, I recommend they go take a look. And this taxpayer roadmap is going to illustrate at, and the IRS says, illustrate at a high level all of the stages on the taxpayer's journey through the tax system. Now, some taxpayers are just going to have a very straightforward process. They're going to go to their return preparer. Do I owe money? Do I have a balance due? And then the return is processed, and that's the end. But there are many other stops along the way that a taxpayer can have on their journey. Um, so this roadmap is to give the give taxpayers and tax preparers all of the different destinations that this could go. Amanda, um, now the roadmap does have several uh, color-coded stages with some stations that the mm -hmm. tax return can stop at along the way. Uh, could you just kind of walk us through uh, what those stages are? This map is pretty complex looking and I think that is an accurate representation of our current tax system it's pretty complex mm -hmm. and the different I see that there are seven main stages that the roadmap is divided into there's the tax return preparation stage which I think that a lot of people and taxpayers are familiar with and then there's the tax return processing and and a lot of I mean everyone's tax return goes through this process but it's really behind the scenes then there is the notices stage um, many taxpayers may have received a notice from the IRS or a letter then there's the examinations stage appeals collections and lastly litigation and many taxpayers haven't actually been in all of these stages but it is a possibility and for anyone that does go past those first couple of stages this can really help navigate that process well now that we've covered the stages kind of uh, at a high level mm -hmm. um, what can a tax return preparer do with this roadmap when their clients sit down is is this something that they can take and show their clients to explain the process uh, how would this factor into um, say if I'm a tax professional my practice that's a great question Ryan and I think for uh, most taxpayers they probably wouldn't need the map unless they're extremely interested in the process unless they go past that second station of tax return processes if they're in the station of notices or examinations this can really be helpful for a tax preparer to say okay this is where you are and this is where it could go and um, it is pretty complex and there's different detours along the way that can be taken so it and a visual as you I'm sure everyone knows is a great way to explain things so it will give the taxpayer visual to show the taxpayer what can happen and I think that's especially important for preparers who practice representation um, this could help be helpful and maybe take some of the fear that out of words like audit and uh, the L word litigation. Yes. Because um, <laughs> that's not one that gives you pause. Um, so, yeah, use this as a tool uh, for people who are in the throes of maybe the more complex 
um, stages of the tax uh, prep journey. Right, right, right. And, uh, you know, th- this was in the IR, excuse me, the taxpayer advocate report to Congress. And not only is this going to help taxpayers, but it also helps policymakers um, gain a better understanding of the process through tax administration. Well, all right, Amanda, where can uh, I go to find this taxpayer roadmap? Where can I go get it? That's a great question. You can visit the Taxpayer Advocate Service website um, to get a glimpse of this, what they're calling a subway map. And you can um, also place a call to order a um, print map. And you can call this number. I actually have a number noted here. All right. um, it's one 800 829 3676. That's 1 800 829 3676. And when you call, request publication 5341. And you can have a hard copy map sent to you. But of course, you can easily just download the PDF. And um, when I attempted to print it, it printed across six pages, unless I shrunk it down to one page. But you could actually have, you know, your local printer print it so it's big so that you can you know, use it as a visual aid. And there's also a video the Taxpayer Advocate Service has to kind of give you a brief overview of what the map is. And I think you can navigate to that from their website as well. We're going to leave it there for today. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us again. It's always a pleasure. You're welcome. We'll see you all on the next Taxing Subjects podcast. 